Hi guys, have you got green water? This is not natural. This is actually dyed and I'm bringing you a how to clear a green water in your garden pond or water feature video. We've just done this for the camera. We've actually dyed it with fluorescein and black tracking or tracing dye that you can actually use as a DIY product for um, tracing leaks and what have you. So if you've got green water in a pond or a water feature, what you're lacking is you're lacking either beneficial bacteria which are consuming the nutrients or you're lacking plants. On a pondless water feature like this one, you should not have green water at all. Like I say, this is dyed water. It should be absolutely lovely and clear, but we've only dyed it just because we can. Because this is a bit of fun and this is our um, pondless water feature at the display garden and we can just play with it, we can turn it red, we can turn it yellow and we've now turned it green. So it's all down to nutrients. Basically if you don't give mother nature something to use that nutrient then she's going to use single set algae to process that nutrient. So if you've got a lot of waste in the bottom of the pond, you know let's say for instance um, you know, there's a foot of sludge on the bottom because the, the, the design is not right or there's too many leaves and you've not got a, a proper pond skimmer so you've got lots of sludge um, then you're going to have a real big problem with green water because there's so much nutrients in there it's crazy there are a couple of products that you can use if you've not got that much nutrients um, certainly in a fish pond scenario or a koi pool then UV sterilization is a real good way to ensure that you don't have green water. Basically how that works is it's chemical filtration, it actually sterilizes the water that goes through or around the tube and anything that comes into contact with UV long enough will actually get sterilized and actually die, so that's chemical filtration. But on an ecosystem pond you don't need UVs because you've got lots of beneficial bacteria and you've got lots of places for plants to grow. So you're giving mother nature something to use up that nutrient. In the spring you might get a little bit of algae because normally single cell algae is the, break, the first to break its dormancy where later on in the season you might get a bit of filamentous algae but that's natural. If you don't have algae or a little bit of algae then it's a a sterile environment is so not a natural environment so if you've got green water like this someone's put some dye in it if it's um, just a green fish pond then you know you've got too many fish or you need chemical filtration and if it's a, a, an ecosystem pond then something's going wrong you've either got too much nutrients in there it probably needs a full drain and clean a lot of the time when people say to me Mark I've got a green pond how do we fix it? I would always look at the nutrients. Put a net in there, see if you've got any nutrients, any sludge in the bottom. If you have, then I would recommend a full drain and clean. My name's Mark, the Pond Advisor, and I'm here to support you, dream, plan, and enjoy your next water feature. And hopefully it won't go green. My question to you is, how can I help you? If you've got a question, fire it over. You know how to contact me, in the comment section below or you can email me at mark at anypond.com that's mark with a k at anypond.com and i'll gladly speak to you soon thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video there's a link for a green pond or a green fish pond now